In this video, you're gonna learn the fastest and easiest way to build dynamic AI agents like you've never seen before without using a flow builder. Let's get right into it. All right, first things first, we're gonna head over to chatbotbuilder.ai and you're gonna log in or sign up. If you sign up for a new account, just create a name for your chatbot, something like dynamic agent and click continue. You're already connected to web chat. So now it's time for a little prompt engineering. Let's go to settings, integrations, open AI chat GPT and click edit. This is gonna open up the business information section or your system prompt text area. This text controls the way that your agent behaves. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove this placeholder text, which would result in a single text-based response. And instead we're gonna use quick replies to guide the conversation. And we're gonna be doing this dynamically and we're gonna work with all languages. So all we're gonna do is use this basic template here that tells your agent how to reply. It just says your helpful assistant and your responses should be in a single JSON array. I've got some other instructions here. I want it to be short. I want six quick reply options with an emoji. And the important thing to remember here is the title label of these quick replies must match the payload and that way the system receives it as a message. Underneath my instructions here, I also am telling the AI to use the same language as the user. Then what's very important is we're giving an example of the strict JSON output that we want. So here is the structure, we call this our schema, and I am going to click continue and we can test it out. Let's go to our flows tab so we can test the welcome message flow. Let's get the web chat link and paste it here. And we should get our first welcome message. And I'm just gonna simply say, hey, how's it going? And we should get a response back with six quick replies. That is perfect. And so now I'm gonna just test, will it know a different language perfectly? Hola, como estas? And now we should get the same sort of message with quick replies in Spanish, and that is perfect. We can click, and it's perfect, guys. So the next thing I'm gonna do is we'll close this out. Let's go back into settings and let's kick it up a notch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into my system prompt area. I'm gonna remove this prompt and I'm gonna replace it with a new prompt. And again, it's very similar. You've got your instructions first and then you have your example. Now, what's gonna be different here is I'm gonna be using cards and galleries and images. I have a little a place here, a placeholder. Copy and paste your data here. And so I'm gonna do just that and I'm gonna do that with a menu that I have saved on Google Sheets. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all the data from this menu, copy it, and paste. Now I do have some blank white space here. I'm gonna be able to just scroll up and remove that. Perfect. So now this has got all the menu items. All right, so all I'm gonna do now is click continue. Let's go back into flows. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out. Let's get the link for web chat, paste, and here we go. Here's our welcome message. Hey, how can we help you? And I'm gonna say, um, I am hungry. How about that? I spelled it wrong there. No worries, it'll understand. And we're gonna get back, hopefully, a nice card there, perfect. We have our image, we have the title, we've got the price, order now. We can say, let's look at more bagels. Again, I'm making it very easy for my customer to move along the conversational journey in this way, which is fantastic. I have a bagel here if I want to click order now. We can see we are right here able to order away. This is fantastic. All right, so let's close out of here and we'll close this guy and let's move on to the next example. Let's go back into our settings and integrations, open AI chat GPT. And this time what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna use actions. Again, we're only using a system prompt, but we're able to make it very dynamic. And now I'm gonna show you how to use actions. I've got a schema ready for you to go. All right, so I've got my super intelligent JSON agent here. Reply and uh, start with natural language. And then I'm gonna go through the elements that are gonna be allowed. So I've got carousels, images, up to three buttons, up to six quick replies. And here, the new ability, we're having an optional, you decide AI. Is this person a VIP or is this person a bad customer? When a tag is applied or removed for that matter, automations can be triggered. So this is very important, very powerful. Here is an example. I'm providing one example of how to place the tag onto the customer. And then I'm giving another example of when they are gonna be tagged bad customer. Okay, so let's try this out. Let's click on continue. 
back into flows. And we're going to do one thing. We're going to need to make sure these tags actually exist. So we're going to click on tags and we're going to create them. So the first one was VIP. The next one I'm going to make is going to be bad customer. So now we can test it out. Let's click flows. Let's get our welcome message link here. Copy, paste it here. And let's test it out. We'll see the welcome message come first. It says, hey, how can I help you? We can say, hey, how are you? And then we could make sure that we're actually going to see what we want to see. Let's go to our inbox here. We can see the conversation in our inbox. No tags have been applied yet. Hit them with a little bit of love real quick. And we should be able to see perfect. We have a response. And then we have our quick replies. Did we get tagged? Perfect. Now we see the tag. That is exactly what we want. Now let's try to be a bad customer. I was totally kidding. Your brand is nothing but a ripoff, and I'm going to tell everyone how bad y'all suck. I'm going to send this on, and we'll see what kind of response we get. I'm sorry to hear you're upset. Talk to support main menu. Let's see if our tag has been updated. And yes, it is. Now we see bad customer has also been applied. So we can see that the AI is able to detect what kind of customer this is and apply the tag, which means that you can trigger any automation that you can build, which is amazing. The last thing that I'm going to show is something that everyone has been asking about. It's a very hot topic, and that is going to be MCP. So what we'll do is we'll click here to MCP servers. Let's click add, and we'll use the one for um, a Reebok. So what I'll do, I'll go to Reebok.com slash API slash MCP. I'll name this Reebok, and I don't need any authentication. We should just be able to click continue. And we see here are the allowed tools. We'll leave everything um, checked on and click continue. And we can see the MCP server is now available. Let's go back into our settings. And what we're going to want to do actually here is click disconnect and connect because you're going to need to use your own API key to use MCP for now. So I'm going to do that myself. Click continue. Okay, so once you've reconnected, that means you're going to be able to click edit and you're going to be able to click more options. You can use a more powerful model. In this case, I'm going to use GPT 4.1 mini and I'm going to remove the connect user to human function and I'm going to enable the Reebok MCP server. I'm going to remove the example prompt and I'm going to paste in a prompt that I've made specifically for an e-commerce agent. Here are the agent instructions. We're using the Reebok Shopify MCP. Again, I'm just including instructions at the top of how I want things to be. And then I'm showing the examples. And so in this example here, I'm showing um, an intro, a carousel, and an outro. And what this is going to be doing is it's going to be showing the agent exactly how I wanted to respond in certain scenarios. I want to point out something here. If you are copying pasting from OpenAI, for example, and you see this, this is something that you are going to want to remove. This can affect the output. So if you ever see raw code or raw JSON, this is most likely going to be your culprit. So go ahead and remove these extra characters. All right, so this is looking good. We can now click continue and we can try it out. So let's go into flows. Let's grab that link again, copy, and let's try it out. So we'll get our welcome message. And I'm just going to go ahead and say I'd like to check out some men's running shoes size 11 and we should see that the mcp server will activate here we go this is exactly what i wanted we've got here are some men's running shoes you might like we have our carousel straight from reebok's website we've got a follow-up message with quick replies this is as dynamic as it gets folks i click view cart no problem i'm taking it right to that product and that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are inspired to build even more powerful AI agents with your prompt engineering skills. Please leave your questions or comments down below, and we'll see you next time. Peace.